Hello and welcome to Cyber Gamer TV. I'm your host for this evening, Toby One Kenobi, coming to you for match two of the game well, World Game Masters tournament. It is the event played in China. We had match one of Ehome vs Nirvana CN, and spoiler alert, Ehome did manage to take that one out due to a very, 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 very insanely far morphling. Um, but will we see it around this time? Who actually knows? That is what we are here to find out. And the man to actually help us find it out and talk, talk us through everything that's actually happening, so we actually understand what the hell's going on, um, is our lovely man Slash, um, who is uh, there awaiting in the game. We'll actually jump ourselves into the game right now, two boys and girls, and uh, get it actually started so we can actually watch the CM mode going. Um, but Slash, a very good evening to you. Great first match. Coming into the second, what are we going to try and expect from both these teams? Yeah, um, yeah, you have game two, so currently the pressure is on Nirvana CN to take this one, if they um, still want to hold a chance uh, to win this tournament. And um, I already skipped through the drafting, so to Toby will probably tell me when stuff is banned and when stuff is picked. That I will. So I will just... Yeah, okay, you will. That's good. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, last game we saw Triple A's more thing, or, or the more um, as burning. Uh, yeah, he just burned through everything. Uh, he had, had insane farm and he had a shotgun in his inventory, basically. Uh, what he... Well, he killed a, 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 more likely than equally farm Shadow Fiend. He killed him solo within two seconds. I think that does say something about it. Um, so, <laughs> interesting to see. And we actually saw Yafit's uh, SF losing, which is not a thing you see every day. Um, so, it was, it was a good match. But, uh, for the, obviously, for all the E-Home haters, we just say that E-Home can only go charting. Well, unfortunately, that was a turning game. Uh, they just waited for AAA to get farm lab and then push for the win. Yeah, it, it worked for them too. Like it, it wasn't really a turtle because they they were slowly defending their towers around the map. They weren't obviously giving them for free, but when you were going up against a massive pushing power as SF as well as Pugna, there, were, there wasn't a lot you could actually do about it. And if Morveling jumped in then, he would have lost the money. He wouldn't have got farmed up where he wanted to. And oh my god, how the hell did he get through the ban pool? Um, bans have actually come up, and we've had. What have we actually got so far? Is that is that slaughter as the first one? My icon is so damn freaking small. Uh, oh, what? The the first ban of E-Home. Anyway, uh, Broodmother, Visage, Doombringer, Alchemist, as well as VS have all been removed. Um, Morphling has actually come into the lineup for 820, being their first pick. Windrunner being the second pick coming out now for Nirvana CN, so uh, they will have one more, and it is going to be Pugna. Um, so Pugna we saw last game, Windrunner we didn't actually, Windrunner I think was actually banned in our last game, um, correct me if I'm wrong, slash, and Beastmaster Clockwork Goblin, E-Home almost have a copy of what they had last time, in fact it is an exact copy of the lineup they had last time. Currently it is, yes. That is just insane, that's like three heroes which you knew, like, Clockwork Goblin wasn't that massive, but he still was a bit of a thorn on the side. Dusa and Windrunner are a big, big change up though here for Nirvana CN, um, CM still not in the band pool. We are actually out into the band pool. I'm looking to see CM actually come up for the uh, Nirvana CN side with CM. They will... And they, what? Okay, they banned CM themselves. For me, I would have thought CM would have been like the hero of choice. Yeah, difficult to say. But uh, how do you defeat like a farmed carry morphling? Well, defeat it with a harder carry. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably the reason why they picked Usa. Yeah, obviously dudes are insane to actually kill. Uh, runs off Manta. Lena actually being banned as well. So uh, our last two bans that came out, E-Home took out uh, Enigma as well as Lich. Um, that's the uh, second time we've seen uh, Lich banned for the matches tonight. Uh, CM, second time she was banned. And then, of course, uh, Lena uh, being removed. We did uh, see appear in our last game. E-Home this time, they actually had a bit of a swap around. Uh, Nirvana CN had Witch Doctor last time. This time, 8-2-0 says she's he or... He or whatever kind of like gender you can actually class which <laughs> doctor as um, will be in the hands of E-Home for this match um, I am still at uh, speed 2 um, so we are actually moving through this fast and there comes Lion um, not in the hands of X or X not in the hands of Lion or Lion in the hands of X I'm pretty sure those two are like symbiotic brothers um, but well he is now going to be facing the finger from Nirvana CN from their side of things um, yeah, interesting to note that um, the the heroes picked till now they could be played by any uh, Nirvana player. So you have uh, Pugna, uh, Dusa, Windrunner, and Lion being picked. So Yafet is known for his solo mid Lion as well. 
he can play a pick, no? Um He doesn't play Dusa that much, but he is also known to play Solomon Windrunner very well. Uh, on the other hand, you have uh, uh, ZS or Joe, uh, most likely playing the Dusa. Um, you have uh, HY or Banana in this case. This is not HY, HY from uh, Aeon Singapore. Um, he will. He he might play any of those heroes as well. So they're very flexible with their lineup. Actually, I'm, I'm glad you actually mentioned that one too, because I know a lot of people do get confused when I just call him HY. Um, it's just a singular HY. He's I had no idea why he picked that name. It's so freaking confusing for everyone out there. Um, but he is actually just the standard HY from China, not HY HY from Singapore. Um, Venomancer coming up as uh, Ecom's last pick, and uh, Enchantress is actually our fifth and final pick coming out here from Nirvana CN. Um, so we will actually slow ourselves down to one speed, so we actually go at the right pace. Um, jump ourselves very, very quickly through. LM will be playing as our Enchantress. HY, um, not the HY, 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 we're playing as a Windrunner. Line as DGC. Dusa will be uh, 25, and uh, yeah, um, uh, YS will be playing as um, Pugna. Yeah, that's, that's the one I was looking for. Uh, L for the Sentinel side for E-Home will be going up towards the top lane as our Venomancer. Joining him will be X playing as Witch Doctor. Um, and Triple A will be playing once again as the Morphling um, for the top lane. Beastmaster 357 um, will be in the middle lane. And uh, A2O will be playing as a Clockwork Goblin Solo on the bottom lane, which he will probably have a little bit better time this time around um, for the main purpose that he will not be um, having to actually hold back on the other side of the river. It will still be on his side of things. Yeah, um, I want to elaborate a little bit more on the Enchantress pick, because um, this is really not a common pick, especially now for Nirvana CN. So since the introduction of their new player, when they uh, when Incense uh, left the team, and then uh, LM joined it, or Lanham, or, well, I don't want to uh, say the Chinese name, because it probably just confused people. Um, but yeah, since this guy joined Nirvana CN, they have a higher hero pool basically they, they have more heroes to be picked and Lam is he's known to for for playing a very good enchantress as well as an insane absolutely insane sand king and bat rider um, so enchantress has become one of the heroes they might be picking more we, we might see more often in the future yeah, that we might. Uh, looks like Nirvana CN uh, having a bit of a look around inside the neutrals of the Sentinel side with Windrunner did pick up that rune. By the way, we have actually got to 25 seconds. Um, I apologise, I was supposed to give a bit of a countdown for my fellow commentator so we can actually keep up with the uh, with the time. I don't know if he's actually already pressed play. Um, but we're now up to 35 seconds here. Um, hopefully he can just speed himself up and we'll catch him. We'll give a couple more time syncs up so we can be okay. Um, looks like Lion just harassing um, the Clockwork Goblin back up here on the top lane. So H2O doesn't get the uh, easy farm that he had last time. Um, that he didn't have last time, but I thought he might get this time on the bottom lane. It says he's trying to push, push himself up. Got to be careful that Enchantress to come in from the side, or else a 2 a will be completely shut down. And um, Dusa will do the role of AAA, and that was basically farm up there on the top lane. Um, Me getting harassed back there slightly, YS, not going to be too concerned. Pugna going up against the Beastmaster in the middle lane. Obviously, they're running two solos, um, as well as a dual lane, uh, for the fact that Enchantress is actually inside the neutrals, but... Uh, Triple A is being left to free farm this bottom lane. HY is down there. Venomancer going for the pool as well, so easy, easy to farm up a little bit more there. Um, but once again, they're leaving Triple A unchecked. Yeah. Um, not a good thing, but this time you're around, you have Dusa on the other lane farming up as well. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, these are two of the hardest carries around, while Morphling is a shotgun carry, like a one hit KO carry. Uh, more of an action carry. Dusa is a pushing monster, a counter pushing monster, and a tank carry. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that will be going. Uh, you might want to tell me what time you're at. Uh, currently at 1 minute and 53, 54, 55 is Enchantress. going to spot the Clockwork Goblin up here on the top. Goes for the Cyclone. Oh, Great it. impale on top as well. A2O is trying to form himself back there and he will be able to do so as well. Um, just baiting out Lion's uh, impale, but did so well. And Lion's not going to be too concerned about that one. Clockwork Goblin can only use his rocket so much to actually get the farm up there on the top. Um, it's literally, it's, there he goes off again and uh, tries to get a, a couple of last hits. He got one um, from one rocket as well as a bit of harassment on the hero, but that's literally it. Uh, he's really going to have a hard time once again. Now, I don't think he's going to let up as well. Like, last time it let up because he was able to move into the other lanes, but this time around, like, the other lanes are still freaking strong. Like, you got Windrunner who can shut you down very, very easily, especially if, um, if, um, well, Pugna comes down as well and gives a bit of harassment. Beastmaster 357, I mean, a lot of trouble there to, um, Pugna in the middle lane. Um, really, actually, out of all consumables in the space of two minutes and a half, this is not looking good for him. 
Um, yeah, have you have you actually noted what um, the starting build of A2O's Clock of Golden was? You might want to look at it. Boots. Yeah, boots first. It's just like one on one of the common uh, noob builds he would do. Uh, but in this case, since he, he he knew he would be going up against a dry lane, this is actually not a bad choice. Um, since uh, they don't have a perma stun lane to do so on the, on the lane, so uh, boots is enough for him to run away. Um, while on the bottom lane you see that uh, Banana or HY playing as a Windrunner has a really, really insanely hard time. Uh, there is, she's still level 1, um, and yeah, doesn't have any farm at all. Yeah, that's, that's really going to be nasty because Wish Doctor, the second he comes up there as well. Look, even denies. The second he gets in close, he's going to lose a bit. Now we're going to see the bouncing stun. Is it going to come? He's just doing two, t two harassments so far. Wants to pull HY a little bit further from that tower. Um, so Triple A has a little bit more free time to actually farm, whatever if he needs it, um, on that bottom lane. Top lane, Deuce is still farming up because Ring of Basilius now completed on top of Deucer as well. That is going to give all the mana back to Lion so he can harass as much as he basically wants. Um, well, not as much as he wants, but still a fair amount with that impel. Knowing he's going to have that extra mana regen. And, and uh, also helps her last hitting since it gives her uh, the plus damage. Oh, um, Windrunner! So already... Windrunner! Windrunner in Vizrune! Manages to pick it up, so we'll be okay. Um, actually picked it up and then got hit instantly, so the in Rune actually like didn't even work for the end of it. Um, but X just trying to control that rune, there it goes, and that was the four minute rune too, so... Uh, it's the second rune Windrunner I've actually seen her pick up. I don't know what happened to the two minute rune. So Pugna running that bottle in the middle lane too, just Crow coming in to pick it up and then uh, fly herself back out again. Um, again, I'm putting a gender on a crow. I'm not, not saying that um, obviously females have to be the crows. Um, they just generally when they're old, women considered to be such. Uh, middle lane actually now pushing out. Uh, level 6 up for Pugna. Um, level 2 Netherward is actually what he decides to actually go. It's Beastmaster actually missing at the moment. He's uh, Where is the man? He's actually running himself back, back from the main the base. base. That's a long, yep. long walk to be out of the lane. That's a very long walk. He, can he really afford to actually do that one? Especially. Oh, bottom lane, bottom lane. Ah, oh, come bottom on! Windrunner! Yeah. Windrunner's on the win! It's not. It's only going to be level one, so she can't actually get himself. Wow, that's, wow level one wind run? Wow, fair enough. Um, Morphling waves over the top there, and first blood does go through. HY is the one that will take the fall. And now Beastmaster's also going to have a bit of a go at YS, just trying to make him think that uh, maybe the Morphling's going to rotate around towards mid. I really, really think that like uh, <laughs> HYR Banana doesn't <laughs> probably just hates the finals of World Game Master Tournament because he's he, he was screwed over in the first game as Vino Answer as well, and currently <laughs> he is uh, laid against the tri lane and got first blooded again. Oh, Pagna, um, Pagna, Blast, X is in trouble, he needs to get the bounce, it's done, Viper Strike now coming in, Morphling, he's going to come in over the top as well, the Maldi is on top, and uh, it should be enough damage to bring down Wyatt's in the middle lane, Beastmaster throws the axes over the top, so he actually gets the last, Rocket Fires off as well, um, but he only slap on the back of X, make sure that nothing is going to damage him off, and uh, that is uh, 2 to nil so far, but they do share it between Beastmaster and Morphling this time, so it's not all into the banks of one man. And Beastmaster also with Boots. Um, obviously he's had them flown out to him, but um, just trying to improve that maneuverability. Uh, Enchantress is now coming in towards the mid lane to try and to try and pick up the slack a little bit. Um, and now we're going to see a bit more farm by AAA on that bottom lane. Uh, while Windrunner once again has to hide, hide back by, past the tower. Um, almost up to level 3, so that's one achievement. Um, not a massive achievement, but it's still something to be happy of. He's doing better than um, the Clockwork Goblin up there on the top lane, who has just been held back so well by Lion. Only level 2 for the Clockwork Goblin. Yeah, DGC is playing uh, like a bodyguard role for the Doomsday. So, yeah, see, uh, they had a ward, um, 